If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code INCEPTION when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Guys, for this discussion video on the evolutions, this is going to be very different to the other evolutions because with this one specifically, you kind of have to go on a scavenger hunt to see which ones actually might make the most sense. Because as of right now, guys, we currently have a lot of evolutions to work with. And with these cards, you could potentially put them into those evolutions. Let me show you guys an example, because a lot of the websites that you guys are going to be seeing is not going to show the full picture yet. That's why a lot of them have not been updated fully, because there's going to be a lot of options to work with. So let's say we were to go to someone like a Kai Havertz, right? So if I go to this Kai Havertz card and I show you the um, the evolution of this card, the FC Founders Part 2, you can see that it only shows that, right? So five-star skills. If I go to evolutions, a lot of these options are expired, right? Okay, be very mindful of this because with FC Founders Part 2, some of these cards can be upgraded, okay? So I use Easy SBC sometimes for these types of things. You can see that they have a filter for all of the current evolutions that exist within the game. So look at what happens when I put it, put it on FC Founders Part 2. Same exact thing, right? They only show the one upgrade of the card. They don't show what it could potentially be in the future. Like if I would put Kolo Milani right now, right? FC Founders, base into FC Founders Part 2, there's nothing else. However, if I were to go and I put both of those on, right? Power Shooter and FC Founder Part 2, you can now see the different options you have to work with from the FC Founder Part 2 into a Power Shooter, into a uh, Trecortista. Like there's a bunch of things that you can do right now. So be very, very mindful of this because I'm gonna be looking into this too for the Road to Glory account because I think it's gonna be very, very important for us to look into this. Why? Because take a look at this, okay? Players like João Felix, it's a little bit weird for him because he already has the five-star skill, so it's a little bit of a waste. I'm going to be honest with you, okay? But a player like João Felix, FC Final Part 2 into a power shooter, boom, gets the upgrade. Angel Correa, just power shooter. But look, Leandro Trossard, FC Final Part 2 into power shooter. Uh, you know, you have Anyomi that gets FC Final Part 2 into power shooter. So these cards, they're actually trending as big cards but they're not showing you the full upgrades of each individual card, right? So let's go over here and I go to FC Found and I take that off. If I go to Kolo Moani, right? These are the only options that I have with Kolo Moani. But if I go to João Felix, look at the options that I have for João Felix. So the top search is not necessarily the best option that you have, but it's just the initial ones that they show you, okay? So it's very important to mention this because there's so many different cards that you're gonna wanna look at before deciding to use your FC Founder Part 2. So let's say, for instance, I were to go to FC Founder Part 2 and then I go into Trek Ortista time and I wanna use Power Shooter as well. Take a look at some of the options you could potentially work with, right? You got a card like Mateos Cunha, that now gets an upgrade, right? FC Founders Part 2 into Trek Ortista time, Power Shooter becomes a five-star, five-star player compared to the rare gold version of this card, right? Which we'll just use, we'll just use Footbin for this. Um, do, 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 Footbin for that. Um, and then we go to Mateos, because I don't know how to do it on uh, these websites. Sometimes like they're new to me, right? So I have no idea. Uh, Mateos Cunha. And we go to like the rare gold version, right? So the rare gold or the non-rare ver uh, version, he's a four-star, four-star player. But take a look at the improvement that you have on this card. He now turns into a five-star, five-star because of the evolutions that you are putting him into, right? Mateusz Kunia turns into a five-star, five-star because uh, Power Shooter is the one that gives you uh, the five-star weak foot, I believe. And then the FC Final Part 2 gives you the skill move. So it's very, very important to look into all this stuff because there's gonna be so many different areas that you could potentially improve. The main guys on the front guys are not the main guys in general. Even on the thumbnail, they're the, they're the main guys, but it's more to just kind of like tell you guys like, hey, there's a lot of cards you can improve, right? You have players like Sorloth who becomes a four-star, five-star player. He gets Tiki Taka because of Trek Ortista time, right? So for people that wanna go 
in that sentimental route you can right because it's very important to kind of take off the filters on some of these cards right and this is the good part about it because the whole point of evolutions is to search for players that are sentimental value but we do play a game where it's very meta oriented and it's very important to mention these things right but regardless you know let's go to sword loss card right it'll show you the best option that you could potentially get with the card and you can clearly see here that you can put him into fc founder 2 power share trek artista time and now he's a four star five star player so for people who are norwegian and they want to work with those types of links they want to use a card that's going to be like a decent physical type striker there you go right there's there's some options that you can work with there so again take out the name go back into fc founders part two let's just do trek artista time just that right so if we take a look at this one um we have a few players that pop off like uh pop up like richarlison who now turns into a five star five star player because of the fc founder part two we have shake who gets a five star three star capability right but these are cards that get tiki taka plus rafa is a pretty good example of someone who is only going to be trending because of the uh founders evolution right so if i take out shrek ortiza time and i just search for rafa in general right you're going to see that's going to show up with a bunch of different rafa cards right but you can see that his best version is only going to be fc founder part two so for this one guys you need to be doing more research compared to some of the other evolution cards that we have done right there's gonna be so many different ones to look at look at this guy right this is like crazy sentimental value fc stuff over here like uh, this guy over here from a non-rare can turn into an 86 turns into a four star four star for player for people who want to work with this nationality because you know they're obviously going for sentimental value fc founder part two trek ratista time dribbling sensation into a power shooter these are all things that currently exist within the game guys right we have this guy rafael mer vicent uh, who gets the upgrade as well these are not necessarily meta options right but what you could do is you can filter out some of the stuff that you want right so if i was going to go with portuguese players right and now we're gonna, i was going to see some of the top uh you know cards that i could potentially get i mean take a look at some of the guys that i can get so we could get a card that's detail oriented radioactive maestro but obviously we're searching for fc founders part two they have all of these to work with right so okay let's see if they have anything else trek ortista time boom beto gets a card right fc farmers part two into trek ortista time we have a player uh like uh, pedro neto who's now from a 77 to an 82 gets a five star four star capability now obviously not as good as that one evolution that they actually ended up giving us that thing was absolutely nuts but look at how many options you have to work with now you have so many different ones you take that one out i don't think rare defender upgrade does much for you from fc founder part two no i don't think this one does much for you uh midfield dynasty i think can yeah so midfield dynasty there you go fc founder part two midfield dynasty with pedro neto and then you search right it's like okay pedro neto let's see what his best card is without this without that pedro neto you search the whole thing you make sure you take these out because there's gonna be a few here that are gonna mess him up i think they actually misspelled his name neto pedro lembo oh L lomba neto that's what they did okay but yeah take a look right so you, you get the improvements here trek ortista time power shooter midfield dynasty but he can be used into fc founder part two power shooter and then trek ortista time and now you turn this card into a five star five star beast so guys this could be a card that I could potentially look into for the RTG accounts because take a look at the massive improvements you receive on this bad boy, right? It's a card that you, in my opinion, give a hunter chemistry style to, right? Because you want to improve the pace and the shooting to be as high as possible. But like, take a look at this guy, right? A lot of very good improvements that you could potentially go with. He gets like some play style adjustments as well. Um, a lot of different stuff, right? FC Founders Part 2, again, we'll take out Neto as his name. We'll go to mid midfield dynasty just to see who else is here from the fc F founder part two again ferran torres pops up uh we have a card that you can put into midfield dynasty first and then you can put him into fc Founder part two after for anzu fati so it's like oh, okay is that the best version of anzu fati in the game let's check we go to anzu fati we take that out we take we just keep fc founders part two we refresh it again that's the best option you can work with right midfield midfield dynasty first uh fc founder 2 afterwards and you're chilling this is the type of stuff that you have to do 
for this evolution because there's going to be so many different options to work with. A lot of these options here that are the top choices, they're not going to be specifically the best ones. Like, look, Sterling just showed up, right? OK, so let's go to FC Fire Part 2 and we'll go to Sterling's card. So with Sterling's card, he does have only an FC Founder Part 2. But there's some cards, guys, that have like three, four different upgrades. Like if I were to go to FC Founder Part 2, Trek Ortista, Midfield Dynasty, maybe put in like a nice little power shooter or something, there's cards that actually have like a bunch of them, right? So um, a few of them, again, Mateusz Cunha is one of the guys that has it. Um... You know, you obviously have the uh, Morales card who gets it as well. Five star weak foot doesn't have the skill moves on this one, but it's like, OK, you know, let's take all that else. You, you just have to filter, constantly filter and see who are the cards that could potentially evil. I go to Morales's card, right? This is the best version that he has. It's Trek Ortista time first um, into power shooter, into midfield dynasty, and he gets a five star weak foot. And to be fair, guys, you take a look at the stats of this card. It actually looks like a pretty decent card in game from the very nice improvements that you get with all of the extra play styles. Remember, it's the play styles that they're adding to this card that make him a beast. So this is where it kind of really shows you that you want to go in the sentimental realms for the most part uh, when it comes to a lot of these cards. Like if you're working with the Spanish team or Portuguese team, whatever, excuse me, you want to work with those things. Let me show you guys a good example, right? So if I were to go to Martin Braithwaite, Look at what Martin Braithwaite has. So he has FC Founders 2, Trek Ortista Time, Power Shooter, and Midfield Dynasty. Okay, this card as a Danish striker turns into someone who has five star, five star capabilities because of FC Founder and because of uh, Power Shooter giving them the five star weak foot. That's beast. He gets all of those play styles as well, right? This one's not even going to load because people are looking into this card right now because it's one of the uh, the top options for the current evolutions that we have, right? So from FC Founder Part 2, a lot of cool stuff you can work with. So again, Trek, it's FC Founder, Trek Ortista time, and then you go to Midfield Dynasty, Power Shooter, and again, you might get really lucky and some things actually pop up. You could see that even if it doesn't load up certain ones, you can see that some of these cards have like three different ones, right? There's obviously this guy um, who is Nigerian, right? So for people that want to build a Nigerian squad, boom, they get a decent card over there. Uh, Alexander Izak is a five star weak foot player who gets a massive improvements here. Trek Ortiza time that gives him the play style plus of Tiki Taka. And now you have power shooter to work with him too. So again, you go back into the top for the evolutions. You take all of these out, right? And then you go to Izak's card and take a look, right? That's the best version that he has. But this is the best thing you could do, man. You just go here, you go dribbling sensation even, right? So maybe get, maybe get lucky with two different ones over here, right? So over here, FC Founders part two, dribbling sensation, probably does not have that much. Uh, let's see. There you go. Boom, right? Raspadori gets one. FC Founders Part 2 Dribbling Sensation by itself gives him these really big improvements. He's now a five-star, five-star player. It's some cool stuff. Enzo Fernandez gets one. Okay, so Enzo Fernandez, I always see different evolutions for that card. If we go to Enzo Fernandez, let's see what his best one is. So the best one is just the rare defender upgrade, right? There's going to be a few different ones you can potentially work with as well, because obviously we didn't click any of those, right? So nothing there. We go all the way to the end. Nothing here either. Enzo Fernandez's best card is a rare defender upgrade. He gets the massive improvements in certain areas. It turns into a pretty decent card. Now, this one is interesting because people would have done this one just to have the dynamic on the card, to be honest with you. I definitely feel like people would definitely have done that for sure. But again, FC Founders Part 2, Trek Ortiz the time. Uh, we'll do Midfield Dynasty, Detail Oriented. We'll go for this, 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 this. Right. And see what kind of pops up. Right. So uh, sometimes you put too much and they're like, oh, no, there's like way too much to work with. Look, hero upgrade for uh, pump a store and stuff. Right. So this is where you kind of want to like take out a few things to see the just to see the FC Founders part two more specifically. Right. Um, detail oriented hero upgrade Marauder. Look at this guy. Right. If you're Moroccan, look at this one. FC Founders Part 2, Trek Ortista Time, Detail Oriented. You see what I'm saying? Like, this, this is crazy. These are really big improvements for these cards, guys. Huge improvements, if anything. <laughs> same card, same card. Uh, Reese, that's the same one as before. Look, sentimental value for these guys, right? 
Look at all the sentimental value for the, these two right here. Let's see what else we got here. FC Farmers Part 2, another sentimental value, no? Not too bad there. <clears throat> More over here. There's gonna be there's gonna be many. There's gonna be many. You have you actually have to do your research for this one because there's gonna be so many different options to work with. Look, five star skills, four star weak foot, a Spanish player that plays in the uh the female league for the Spanish league, I, th I believe, as well. And look at her card, bro. Hunter chemistry style, she gets the pace boost, she gets the dribbling, uh, the shooting boost. So, like I said, guys, as I'm trying to explain, if you go here and you check out these top cards over here. They're not going to be the best options for this one specifically. Like if I were to go to Reese James, right? Dribbling, uh, dribbling sensation. And I were to go here specifically and I were to take out all of these things. And I were to go to take out all of these things. Boom, boom. And I go to Reese James. Reese James. That's the only one that shows up. But it's very different for the FC Founder Part 2. Because there's so many different options to work with. Just search, search for what you think you'd want, right? Like, wh which ones do you like the most? Do you like the fact that a player now receives a Tiki Taka Plus? Okay, Trek Ortista time. These are all the players that are gonna give you the Trek Ortista time, but they're also gonna give you some options that have FC Founder Part 2 into Trek Ortista time, right? Shik is one of them, Richardson is one of them. You have uh, Romario that becomes one of them, right? Is this Romario's best card? Because, you know, you might be missing some other things. Again, let's go try it out. Romario. Boom, boom. Take those two out. This is the best version. So you can see that his best version is not putting it into FC Founder Part 2 into Power Shooter, um, which, uh, guys, it's debatable. It, it's debatable because, look, if you put him into Trek Ortista Power Shooter, he's a four-star, five-star player, but the five-star, five-star player is better because he has five-star, five-star. You know what I'm saying? And that's FC Founder Part 2 into Power Shooter. So you have to see what skill moves and what weak foot these cards get. Because these two are the ones that provide that. So a lot of the ones that people are going to be looking at is going to be this one specifically. Because if they have any sort of card that has a 4-star, four 4-star four capability, they're going to want to improve this, right? I need to check my boy Correa. Correa is going to be a really important one for me. So you can see that he's just Power Shooter. They know, bro. They know that they don't want to make him too overpowered. Or else your boy would cook with the mans, you know? But Angel Correa is just power shooter, right? Gets the five-star weak foot, no five-star skills. Would that be amazing for your boy? Absolutely, right? But, dude, Morales is like, Morales is like a really sick option, right? Morales, uh, you know, even if you just go into the different versions that he has, like, he has a bunch, man. He has, he has a whole lot of different versions. Um, FC Founder Part 2. The one that people will be looking into the most will be the power shooter. Like, this is going to be the biggest one. Because the power shooter boosting the weak foot, it adds to the card in regards to usability, okay? Because Ferran Torres, instead of just being a 5-star, I think 4-star player from the rare gold card, right? Now turns into a 5-star, five 5-star. Five and then for the Barcelona peeps, they're going to be all over that, right? Um, Joan Felix, I mean, again, you can do the improvement on him. Is it a waste, in my opinion, because he already has five-star skills? Yes, you should buy, You should probably do it on somebody else, to be honest with you. Leandro Chosar, take a look at this. Nep would be all over this card, right? Five-star, five-star capabilities on this bad boy. Like, that's nuts. Like, that's really, really crazy. Havertz turns into a five-star, five-star from an FC Fighter Part 2 into a power shooter as well. Polo Moani's in the thumbnail just for the sake of people, like, you know, because that's what they're seeing. But in the actual thing, it's different. Right? Martial, usability wise, five star, five star Anthony Martial. Right? Hunter Chemistry style, you use the dribbling as it is, sure, whatever. He's a, he's a physical type player, but he's a physical type player that now has a five star weak foot with a five star skill move improvement. So this one is just, it's a crazy one to look at. This one you have to like really pay attention to, right? If you want to go in the Cameroon route, you can do that. Um, Tammy Abraham now gets four star, four star from FC Founder two par into a power shooter. Like there's, there's just so much. There's so much that you can work with, right? FC Founder part two. For, like a lot of these cards, that if you were like if you were to not get them in the beginning, like Jessica Silva for like the 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 Befica Portuguese links. Boom, there you go. There's your option to work with right there. Cody Gakpo doesn't get one. Um, and then we could just keep going, right? Like they they obviously have like their own like meta criteria. And to be honest with you, they're like they're pretty accurate in regards to which cards are meta and which ones are not. But like I said, guys, take a look at all of the sentimental cards that you could potentially go with when it comes to this specific Evo. So you literally just go 
based off of what the what the evolutions is right like like i said you go to the first one and like these are going to be like the top choices in regards to some of the stuff that you could potentially work with based off of like the play styles they have and all that kind of stuff too um but you know obviously some of the meta options in the lower side are a little bit better to work with too but it's a few things man like if i were to go to hero upgrade let's see this one that's not going to be like anything there's no chance imagine no that would be stupid um so hero upgrade take that one out marauder let's see what marauder does for us no so it's mostly for like shooting and dribbling stuff so it's mostly it's mostly for power shooter oh it maybe maybe radioactive maestro maybe maybe let's see let's see if we even get one here radioactive maestro no no it's mainly for the attackers and stuff i don't think radioactive maestro radioactive maestro no no not for this one in particular radioactive meets uh or relentless meets radioactive relentless meets radioactive no no this one as well take that one out detail oriented boom there you go right braithwaite again is the one that pops up look edward has a card fc founder part two detail oriented power shooter turns into a five star five star player now you see what i'm saying it's weird with the evolutions because they're literally giving you cards that you really have to decide like which direction you want to take because look at look at look at look at huang's new card being a five star five star now look at cesar on this card 75 into an 84 this card gives you the brazilian links but he's a five star five star player now look Mbumo now turns into a usable cameroon card cameroon am i stupid Thank goodness. Ooh. Look, Klaus. Klaus inform card. Uh, no, not Klaus. Detail oriented. Um, FC Founder Part 2. FC Founder Part 2. Look at these guys that get massive improvements, right? Like, if you're a guy from Iceland, there you go. Massive improvement there. You're a Georgian guy. Boom. You get this guy. Five star, five, five star, four star, dude. Look at that. FC Founder Part 2. Detail oriented power shooter. Kwame, Jean Felix. I mean, the Joan Felix one is not like completely terrible, but I just I just think it's a waste when you like it's better to give the skills to someone that doesn't have it. You know what I'm saying? So you go to the, down the pecking order here. You know, you get cards like Bodu, like the, the the sentimental guys, really. You know, but like you have to look into this, man. Like there's there's gonna be so 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 many options that you have to look into. Kai Havertz FC Founder Part Two Power Shooter Five Star Five Star now Five Star Five Star now with traits with traits B bear in mind with traits okay origi usable card now right power shooter detail oriented five star five star makes the card way better to use in game don't get me wrong a lot of these cards will still stray away from the meta of the game because they'll turn they'll turn like trucks but it's a really really good direction for people that want to get the proper improvements right like like i said i go to like sterling and stuff and these guys are not the ones that pop up you know they're not the ones that pop up. This one is a very, very different evolution compared to all of the different ones. They're there for the title to show you like some of the top options you could potentially work with. But in the thumbnail, guys, we're going to show the, the best version of a card that you can get with the FC Founders Part 2 if you did not use any of these evolutions yet. OK, I'm just letting you know that there's options that you can work with. You can go into the in the route of what FootWiz is showing you, right? Kola Moani, you get this card initially. Maybe further down the line, he gets an evolution that he could potentially upgrade and turn him into an even better player. You know, as of right now, if I search for Kola Moani, that's the only option. So that's why I wanted to change the thumbnail for this video. That's why I wanted to make this video because the options that are trending right now are not the top tier options if you still have evolutions to work with okay like i said i did a video early today with dribbling sensation dribbling sensation is cool but it's only cool when it's part of something right so dribbling sensation needs to be with like two different things here where it's like dribbling sensation trek ortiz the time power shooter like this kesson uh, ie card right um dribbling sensation power shooter into trek ortiz the time for tammy abraham you know you get you get it for vincent abubakar so that that's the important thing to mention for these new evos today okay because of the current evolution cards that uh that exist so i'm gonna put this uh video in the comment section for the dribbling one i'm gonna make this the most recent video for the evolutions be sure to check it out for the potential improvements that you get 
this will be the website that we use in the future just to see what uh, evolution cards we can get um, for the massive improvements, right? Because like I said, guys, there's some cards that are trending that you search up that are not the most ideal players. You go to Raheem Sterling, you know, his best option is the power shooter. Best option is a power shooter, but remember, FC Founders Part 2 gets a five-star weak foot or a five-star skill move. So you have to work with some of the stuff that you may want or may not want, okay? Just remember, not all these options you see over here are terrible. It just depends on what you may see them getting in the future, okay? Because some of them are some of them are just one card. With Sterling, he gets a five-star skill and he gets nothing else. But in the future, maybe two months from now, there's evolutions that you can improve them even further. Have to look into this stuff, okay? So Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.